Uh, Lord Otter, do Cartman. Speaking of uh, authors. What's uh, up, Otter? Otter. Otter. Yeah, Otter. nothing much. What about you guys? <laughs> How's your campaign going? Uh, last night was our last session until the new year, but if we're going by what happened this last session, I mean... <laughs> it went off in the bang. <laughs> A yeah. Very big bang. Must you be proud. You'd be very proud. <laughs> The pyromaniac tiefling would be getting. Yep. yep. <laughs> oh, you, you, the, you giddier thought... than the giddier than this tiefling could comprehend. You thought a pile of TNT was cool, a nuclear missile? Ah, that's a lot cooler. Oh, dude, Ember would be all over that. It was and, pretty satisfying. And Luther blew it up. <laughs> it was pretty satisfying oh, telling Nick and I asking oh, him to God. roll one hundred d one hundred. It was yeah. Did anybody gosh, screenshot gosh. that? I hope somebody screenshot that. That was freaking awesome. Or at least awesome. flipped it. It's recorded. You gotta just go up on uh, it's go up on Lord Otter's YouTube page and watch the episode and screenshot it again. Yeah, it's recorded on the live stream. <laughs> it's written That's down awesome. in history. I'm... Hail guilty. I'm gearhead. glad you guys are liking guilty your gearhead and RC Scott has joined us. Hail RC Scott. Oh, hey RC. RC Scott. Scott. <clears throat> Scott. Tripsy's a, a little drunk, here. drunk tonight. I'm not drunk. You're drunk. Yeah, of course I am. Hold right. on, I'm gonna get another beer. I'm not drunk, Ossifer. <laughs> hey, I'm drunk, not. I'm, officer, not. I'm drunk. Right. <laughs> that wasn't the trash can. That was the door, Trippy. <laughs> you know, someday I'm gonna come along onto the stream, having drunk my fair fill, and just say in my old Cartman voice. Oh my god, you guys, I'm like so wasted right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you like, gotta say the famous line right now. Screw you guys, I'm going ham. Oh. <laughs> Stick a chicken in it, make it gay and lame. <laughs> no, that, um, Dark Ogma, I was thinking about it all today. The thing you did with that Hail universe, Tim that Allen. world, is perfect. I, I don't know even how you did that, like, it's so dialed in. The storyline is on point. Like, perfect, dude. Five out of five stars. Well, five out you. of five otter high fives. Clams? I guess. Clams. Five out of five, five, out of five yeah. clams. Five, five clams. Out of five <laughs> smashable clams. There you go. Smash them against the rocks. <laughs> they can be taken out of context so bad. <laughs> I expect it to. I love <laughs> smash The gamer clams. in me, I hear clam and go, oh, jeez. Here we yeah. go. He's an otter. Don't put your mind in the gutter. Well, you gotta remember, what I'm do you a mean? gamer. Great Clam is totally something gutter. different. It is my duty as an otter to smash clams. That's mm -hmm. just the natural giggity, order giggity. of things. Giggity, giggity. <laughs> right. Smash them hard. A good old smashing. That game was so... Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was. We were dying laughing. Maji, you didn't watch last night's yet? No, not yet. I've, oh, dude, my gosh. I am we're... buried in work right now. In fairness, it's time. also a pretty long session that we had. It, it was. Uh, yeah, what were we on there? Four and a half hours? Yeah, something yeah. along those and then, lines. And then we yapped a little more afterwards. I'll have to go back and clip it, but basically uh, Kahuna's character, Rumpa, was giving a back <laughs> massage to this fused zombie sentient like thing that was asking <laughs> to die. I was just repeating, it was like, kill me, please. And he's like, no, he's being dramatic. He just needs a song. And like one of the other characters, Nails, plays a guitar. He's about to sing a serenade to this thing. <laughs> Please, and then, he get, then he gets <laughs> into another one. He tries to convince him why he's better off dead. Oh, my God. I'm going to clip it. <laughs> I was dying laughing. <laughs> dying laughing. Uh, that was so funny. In other words, for the nerds in the group, you should really check out Lord Adder's channel and check out this campaign. Dark Augment. We're going to do it all next year. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's already <sighs> been a pretty chaotic game so far. We got some great characters. I wish my work <laughs> schedule wasn't so chaotic. I would totally slip in sometimes. Oh, we got so... Oh, you would have a blast. Getting... Oh. <laughs> no pun intended. Oh, no, I probably would have a blast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the whole fun part of, about the campaign, it, it's a bit more in the vein of OSR. It's uh, very much drop-in, drop-out, that kind of campaign. 
but we're we're also having it being sort of semi open world so at the beginning of each quest everyone's getting to choose from at least five different paths they can go along yeah it's like mega man at the beginning choose your stage <laughs> and i like the game mechanics i never when i thought tabletop rpg you know i think dungeon dragons um stuff but the savage world thing drawing cards and like my character, you know, yeah, is we like draw gam- cards g- for gambling initiative addict. instead of rolling. <laughs> Being the gambling addict that my character is is like it fits in so freaking like perfectly. The most complicated it gets is whenever you're, you're factoring in damage and everything because it's wounds instead of losing hit points, so it's rolling against toughness. That's about as out there as it gets, in my opinion. I, I like the initiative card system; it's really nice. It sucks that Rule 20 is a little broken, though. It seems like... Yeah. The, uh, oh, we lost Wrangler. Little... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> there goes our host. I was going to say, are we able to get him back in? No, we should probably be able to. I wish I could say that hasn't happened before, but yeah, no. I'm so, I think he'll just be able to rejoin. Um, How long had, did it take you to uh, build all that? The The campaign so far? Or are you uh, talking that your quest? world? The, I guess the world. Uh, the, it's and the, still the, being the, the worked world. on. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that's probably gonna be an ongoing thing as Would long you as you continue. Start it? I I have the I I know what's going on in the world, but the actual adventures and everything, I I have enough for you all to play around with. But I'm adding to it as we're continuing. That's kind of the pace that I'm going at. But when did you start all this? Like the world? Yeah. Oh. Uh probably back somewhere in July maybe. That's when I started with the setting. That's when I started putting it together and everything. Wow. You're really good. <laughs> Cuz it's pretty <laughs> I'd Maybe imagine you just like, have shelves full of notebooks to keep everything in order. Uh, so you're you're a master. Yes DM. and no. A lot of it, a lot of it is brainstorming ideas and filling in the blanks as you're going along. You'd be surprised. <laughs> well, one hmm. thing I do have to give you credit for that a lot of people can't do as DMs. You are very quick on your feet to adjust to the crazy. I I kind of learned that through experience. You, you see a he, lot of look who he hangs around with, <laughs> <laughs> right? I I think it's uh, it for me. It's one of the best parts of, about being a DM or a game master is uh, you you learn that pretty early on. No matter how meticulously you plan out the session beforehand, uh, you realize that. At, sooner or later, your players are going to deviate from the paths you put up, and you've got to work around it. And the more you kind of get your mind into expecting the unexpected, it surprisingly it it does a lot. Or I think it's helped me a lot over the years, and uh, that, that's kind of why I recommend a lot of people. Uh, try out DMing at least once in their life because it's a really valuable skill to have. Or now, how has this helped you with your writing? Uh, well, kind uh, getting into DMing was pretty much my primer for writing. That's kind of because uh, whenever you're actually running a game, if there are plot holes in your in your plot or story or world or whatever, uh, players can point it out right there. And, I mean, there's a couple of ways you can spin it, but you still get an idea of this is what I need to, this is what I need to be aware of. And whenever you take that to writing, it's not as immediate as, like, an RPG game. So it's like, but you can still have that muscle built up over time saying, what do I need to worry about? What's the most likely things to be questioned? And that's going to... That's going to give you a good idea of what you need to actually keep in mind as you go along. Yeah, Still not going to get everything, but it's going Im- to I would imagine all this gets your mind just more f- formulated to 
kind of trying to keep track of every little cause and effect that happens in the scene. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, the the one of the most fun things for me as a DM is whenever you all are coming up with a plan, and hell, half the time I don't even know what's going to happen. But <laughs> I'm really just asking myself what makes the most sense for what's going to happen in this situation. I know what the world is doing. I know what everybody else has in mind. What makes the most sense? And that's where all the dynamic shit comes into play. Yeah, that's where like, it gets really fun. You're like, I know what the world is doing, but I have no idea what these knuckled heads are about to do. I yep. feel like it's going to get uh, easier, though, as you learn what these knuckleheads are going to do, because this is our second uh, campaign we did. Yeah. You're kind of learning the characters. You know what Luther is going to do now. The first yeah, game, you had no idea what Luther was going to do. And I was worried because you know how we act now, and you wrote this one we were playing. I was like, he, he probably set it up so we're going to do exactly what he expects us to do, and we're going to walk into a situation where what we do just don't work. And we're going to be screwed. He's setting us up. And it turns <laughs> out you were. And it turns out what you set us up with was the key to <laughs> finishing it off. Yeah. So uh, no matter, like I said, no matter how much you think your way around it, the players, your players are always going to find something you never even thought of, even if it's obvious. So whenever I put that nuke there, I saw it as a deterrent against Luther saying, Hey, watch where you throw your grenades. <laughs> you could blow everyone up. What I did not anticipate is you all just throwing timed bombs there, leaving, and then just detonating it miles away. <laughs> Come on. We're dumb. We ain't that dumb. You put it there to no, deter us from blowing smart. things up, it's, and we went, I, oh, good, we can blow it up bigger. <laughs> no, it's really smart. In, in fact, I didn't even think of that. I went, yeah, that makes complete sense. It's actually yep. really smart. Yep. Well, that one campaign that we did, my uh, tiefling made a bunch of dynamite sticks, and we beat the final boss without it ever fighting. Because Trivia. <laughs> Billy yeah, no, Bob this... kept throwing the dynamite at it. This is what I'm waiting for. I want like I want a hard game, and all of a sudden we're like going to these trivial games where we're just blowing things up in the end. Like, oh, no. Final boss, fuck that. <laughs> it, was, it was it was worth it though because it was just so much. It was just so much. I had so much laughing. My character Richard didn't even fire one shot. He got a shotgun and like round. He didn't fire one bullet. He just went I through the whole either. thing. I, I'm steadily turning either. up that either. dial too, seeing how how you all fare against everyone. Leveled, it did not level the bunker. No shots no. fired. It did not my, help. My bad. My bad. Getting terrible. I fired one. It didn't help they were getting drawing terribly in the whole initiative. You all were going first, and you all were getting really good rolls on top of that. Really good rolls. <laughs> but we got we yeah, got man. our string of crap rolls, too. We definitely got that. They were hilarious. I I really thought you all were going to have a lot of trouble with that hive bear, for, for sure. Until uh, I stuck a knife in his head. <laughs> I mean, he could take... He could take a solid three hits before he was he would go down, and if he ended up hitting you all, he could potentially have pinned one of you down. Yeah, and uh, I would I would imagine he's you. capable of a one shot kill. Yeah, pretty well, and so is Harold <laughs> for the record. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a great moment uh, where Billy started like busting up laughing because. Uh, Otter like moved, uh, Harold like started moving around, and all of us just took our icons on the map and started moving back on the squares. So you just see us on the video, see us like take step backs, like, nope, 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 <laughs> not getting near that. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I still, can... <laughs> yeah, we, we all took shots at that bear, and then the bear charged us, and then I never took, I, I fired that one shot at the bear before it charged. The thing charged. Took a swipe at me, missed, and then my character just pulled out his hunting knife and stuck it in his head. <laughs> yeah, lucky. <laughs> or this is gambling. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't fire another shot the whole time. I was like, yeah, I'm switching over to my baseball bat. I know you're hacking the keypad that's unhackable that needed like a combination code. Like what? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah, I lucky. know they're. Uh, there were a couple of outs with the final boss fight there. And it was the the out you all ended up taking was 
completely unexpected. Uh, I I thought you all were going to persuade him to this horrific bio horror monstrosity to either stop what he was doing or, and or take his own life. What I didn't expect was blowing up the nuke. I'm surprised he didn't expect that with Luther. Well, was, I, I should have, uh, but Kahuna's character that did that impossible dodge right from the the psionic blast. Yeah, he he came really close to getting hit. Actually, I don't think it would have done too much damage to him, but it came really close to hitting him. Oh, is that the? Yeah, I just went back check? and That's checked the gifts to see who did what. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the story's recorded. <laughs> I, it was still really funny seeing uh, seeing Mia's death there because it came right out of the blue. Ah, uh, did it though? Did it? Well, I mean, yes, and no. we knew that was going to happen. I knew that. Well, Richard, I I think Richard knew, and I both knew that I was eventually a Mexican standoff was going to happen at some point in this <laughs> campaign. And there it was. I'm sure enough, Foxy out of nowhere. Like, she's turning her head, ends it.